The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. And not point finger saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. This quote by Rocky Balboa is the first thing I thought of when the topic, how do I get through low points in life was brought to my attention on Instagram. Listen guys, life is extremely difficult, not just for you, but for everybody. There are situations you will go through when you have absolutely no idea why it's happening to you. And then you have situations that you know exactly why it's happening to you, but don't know how to take the pain. I know it might sound extremely cliche, but honestly, the way that you get through these situations is if you keep moving forward. Just like Rocky said, I can't emphasize enough how important those three words are. Keep moving forward. If you continue to lay around and do absolutely nothing about the situation, it will be all that you think about which will only dig the ditch you're already in lower and lower and lower. That's what's so hard about hitting those low points. It beats us up to the point where we don't want to get up. To the point where we want absolutely nothing to do except lay around and wonder why this is happening to us. How about instead of wondering why, let's make a reason on why it should never happen again. Learn from the pain that you're going through. Right now, I want you to take two seconds and think of the strongest person you know and ask yourself, what makes that person so strong? And I don't mean in the weight room, I mean the strongest person in life. That person, when life hits hard, they keep going. They don't stop, they keep moving forward. Like for me, the strongest people I know are my parents, hands down. Many of you who know my parents don't know this about them, but they lost a son. His name was Michael. I mean, imagine having to bury your son. The pain and agony you would have to go through. Wondering why. What did I do to deserve this? Why is this happening to me? I did everything right throughout my pregnancy. Where could I have gone wrong? This horrific incident that my parents had to go through could have kept them down. This is something that could have kept them down for years, for decades. Honestly, if they were just to give up, I bet many people would have understood. But what makes them so strong is they didn't give up. They continued to live their lives. They continued to grow in their marriage. They didn't stop and later had two more great kids. The last one being the best, of course. I think you know who that would be. I was just talking to someone the other day, and right now this individual was in a rough state of mind. They didn't mention exactly why, they just said that there are times when they wake up and don't want to do anything. Thoughts just keep rolling through their mind on why they don't need to get up and do anything for the day, even whenever they have important things to do. They just continue to lay in bed, sleep, wake up, eat, go back to bed, and this routine just continues for days, and sometimes even weeks. And my advice to this individual was just keep moving forward. Start by setting some goals for yourself and not long-term goals, short-term goals on things that they enjoy. This way they will feel the gratitude of accomplishing something. The feeling of accomplishment is an amazing feeling, let me tell you. It's almost like drugs for an addict. Once they get that little taste of accomplishment, they want that feeling again. So they continue to accomplish these short-term goals and eventually start setting long-term goals. And at this point, they have pulled themselves out of that ditch that they already dug themselves into. I believe this is a great way to get you out of those low points in life. So for everyone who's listening right now, if you're at a low point in your life, start making some short-term goals. Goals that you can accomplish so you get that gratification of accomplishing something. And once you accomplish that one goal, do it again and again until you find yourself standing outside that ditch you were just in. Now for anyone who just watched this video, thank you guys so much. You don't know how much it means to me and my team. We work very hard to do this and provide motivational content for you guys each week. Now if you guys can, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button and leave a comment on why you didn't like it or what we can do to improve to help you guys. If you guys want a topic for me to talk about, comment a topic and I'll help you guys through whatever rough situation you guys are going through. Again, thank you guys so much. Share this with your family. Share this with your friends. Share this with somebody who you think might need some motivation and help lift them up. All right. Thank you guys again. I appreciate it. Have a great day.